So let's say that you want to add audio to a slide that you have. Um, for instance, this slide has a lot of words here. I want to add audio to the objectives and maybe some of these slides with the definition. It's really easy, just follow these steps. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up Online Voice Recorder. Um, the link is down below. It will appear here. It's um, completely free, so don't worry about that. You're going to hit record. You're going to go back to your slide and then you're going to start. I'm going to do this one. Today we will define the terms statistics and data, define the concepts of mean, median, and mode, compare and contrast qualitative data with quantitative data. Go back to your tab and then you're going to hit stop. And the nice thing about this is that you can edit this here. So I started talking here and I ended here. And I can hit save and it's right down here as long as you're using the Chrome browser. It's at the bottom which is really nice because you're going to go to drive and you're going to have a folder of audio recordings. If you don't have that, go ahead and make a new one. Name it audio, you can spell audio recordings. I'm going to move this into that folder. I'm going to click on this folder and it's important to move it to a folder because you're going to want to change the share settings of the folder. So I'm going to change this to anyone with the link can view. Done. And the nice thing about that is now anytime I do a new recording and I put it in this folder, I don't have to change the share um, options of that each of those recordings. Because if you don't have it um, with the share options, when the students go to click the recording, it won't let them um, listen to it. I'm going to rename this uh, Objectives so I remember. It's also important to name it because when I do another recording, I'm going to exit out, save that. Oh, I already saved it. This is my second recording. I'm going to hit Done, save it. It saves it as the same name. So when I come back here, I can show you, and I move it right into here, it's all good because it I named I renamed the other ones. But if I move this again, it's gonna say you have you already have a um, file on that, which you can keep both. But now you're gonna have a lot of recordings with different names, which we don't want that. So I'm just gonna rename this example. Now I have my recordings in my um, folder. Go back to my slide. I'm going to go to insert audio. And right there, those are the recent ones just popped up. I'm going to insert my objectives. And you can see this little icon appears. I'm going to put this right here. You can play it. It sounds like just like me. Perfect, and then I'm going to share this to my students. Um, one thing with sharing it to your students is you want to make sure you don't just share your slides, your slide just by doing this and letting them view it. Um, statistics. I'm going to change this, copy this link, but when I give my students the link. I'm going to change this to preview. And that way, when the students are on their iPads, uh, they will be able to click that. Uh, if you give it to them with this link, in order for them to use on their iPads, in order for them to click that on their iPads, they have to go into the slideshow option. Um, just to avoid that whole confusion, I recommend giving the kids the um, slideshow by changing it to slash preview because it looks like this. They can go through it, they can click on that audio, they can listen to it, and you're good to go. You can also, if you click on that share arrow, share row, um, you can create a QR code and then download that QR code. I'm going to use my phone and I'm going to scan it. And now your students should be able to access that slide right on their iPads. You can see right here on my phone, I have it. Uh, if I click the, 
the um, voice icon, the little icon there. Today we will define it's right the there where I am reading out the objectives. The of me, me. So it's really nice for the kids on the iPad um, using that preview. And that QR code just makes it easier to share it. Um, you can download that. When it downloads, it looks like this. You can just present that on the screen and that's how your kids can access the slide. Hopefully this video helps you out. I know there's a lot of um, paid extensions and programs that you have to use to add audio to Google Slides. This is the fastest and freest way that I have found to do that. Make sure you like and subscribe and check out our YouTube channel for more tech tips.